Hey, hola, my friends. My name's Charles Collins, and I'd like to welcome you to our little private laboratory. Now, um, as of recently, and actually up to a few months ago, I was talking about how to use nanobubbles, how to apply the Venturi effect, and I know some of the information could have been confusing, but I'm here to clear a little bit of it up. For one, we all knew it as living, we all know as living creatures, as living beings, we need oxygen to survive, right? And plants are no different. Now, you would think that the plants get the majority of the oxygen from the leaves. They don't. They get energy from the sun. And in order to process that energy and put it to use, they need the oxygen, just like we do. And where do plants primarily get their oxygen from? The roots. Now, when it comes to traditional gardening, if I'm using something like a pot, I'll use a little bit of perlite in the dirt. Not only does that help um, stretch the dirt and stretch the soil that I'm using in a pot, it actually a little bit more, but it actually also adds way for oxygen to get through to those roots through the soil. See, so there's one way that you can amend your soil in traditional gardening that help is so that your plants can get more oxygen to those roots. Now, when it comes to sustain sustainable gardening, be it hydroponics or even aquaponics, um, if, it's a, if it's an active method, we'll use something like an air pump and an air stone attached to it. Plug in a little bit of electricity. This provides more than enough ample oxygen bubbles for your plants. But just like everything else in life, not everything is the same. So one oxygen bubble isn't exactly the same thing as the next oxygen bubble. We're going to be getting to that in just a second. Now, a huge part of our promise and our mission goal in sustainable gardening is to use as few moving parts as possible and try to use as little energy as possible because some of these kits that we're building, what well, a majority of kits that we're building, it's not for high-end houses, it's for people just like us. You may not have much, but you do have an urge and you do have a need for fresh vegetables. So that's why we're designing the kits that we're doing. Not a lot of high-end parts to them, but we try to utilize as much science as possible so that we can get the most out of every piece of equipment that we build. Now, some rigs, and that's what we call a hydroponic or an aquaponic garden setup, some rigs use something called a Venturi effect to provide oxygen for their plants. A Venturi effect is really genius. It's on the basic principle that if you provide an air line or a line to the gas on a pump that you're using to suck in water, that pump will also pull in air and it will distribute the air in that water that's coming out from that pump. Very simple, right? Well, actually, it is pretty simple. Well, you see, if you take the cover off of this old um, aquarium pump that we have, and you'll notice where it's got that little fan in there, and it's got those little grates, like that little screen thing. We'll take this quarter-inch line of um, aeration hose, and we'll set that right in there so that we can actually take, we can use that, men we can use that engine, and we can use that force, that suction force of the water to actually pull oxygen in from the air outside of the reservoir while we're doing it. Now that's a really, really simple explanation for it. And I know we could get a lot more in detail, but I want you to know how simple this is. I'll actually I'll be filming more videos and recording more videos and posting them on our Patreon. So if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our Patreon. We'll be getting way more in depth about this rig and about the systems that we're building. I can't wait to really show you guys a full in depth video about this because I really think you're gonna dig it. Now in our case, for this exercise, we're going to be using a five gallon deep water culture active hydroponic system, which means that we will have um, a power pump working in this system. Now, that pump I just showed you when we were talking about rigging it up so that we could use the Venturi effect, this pump would need a line for oxygen. Now, for the most part, you could just leave this hose just sitting right outside the bucket and it's gonna suck in oxygen. But us, we like to little, be a little bit fancy. What we did is, we hooked up these two duo air take valves right here so that that line, that air line from the um, water pump can plug in right here and we can actually add in as much air or as little air as we want to. Now these two nozzles do not determine the size of the oxygen bubbles. We're going to show you a little trick applying a little physics and a little bit of mother nature and we're going to show you from what Dr. Lake taught us how to apply a minimum nano bubble effect to your system. And on this very video, you're going to be able to see the difference between a Venturi effect and a nano bubble effect. Stay tuned. Now, when you heard me mention earlier that we're going to be applying a little bit of Mother Nature in here, I want you guys to take a look at the bottom of this five gallon bucket. We've actually installed a very inexpensive Ferris Mag. And part of um, turning this, part of bringing on the um, nano bubble effect is we're going to pressurize the water flowing from that air pump and it's going to be smashed against this ferrous magnet. I know, sounds weird, right? But wait till you see the effects of it. Now let's take a look inside our five gallon reservoir. We're gonna see two primary 
water lines right here. And this is going to be our first output line from our pump. And this second one is going to be, this one right here is going to be our line that on returns the water back to our reservoir from the pump. Now, I want you to keep in mind this second line right here, the smaller one, this is what it's look like, what it looks like if we were to break this down. Now, it's um, a three and a quarter inch hose, and it's broken down so that it actually, it inputs from three and a quarter inch and it outputs from about a quarter of an inch right there. So input line large, output line small. And the idea is that the pressure from that pump is going to push the water through this hose. It's going to come through this line. It's going to feed right back to this second line that increasing the pressure and it's going to smash into that ferrous magnet on the bottom. Sound incredible, right? It's not, but guys, I can't wait for you to see this, watch. Okay, my friends, so here's test number one. We have our pump right here. The water's gonna come out the pump. It's gonna flow through this line, the top one. It's going to come out in this second port right down there on the bottom. And we've actually removed our modified uh, pressurized line so that you can see what this looks like by just using the Venturi effect. Also, I want you to keep your ears open because you'll actually be able to hear us increasing the oxygen flow to the pump while it's running. If all goes well, you should actually see a good bubble flow from this line down here on the bottom. Well, let's give this a test, guys. All right, so let's plug her in. And just like we said, okay? Let's take a look at that bottom line, the one that doesn't have a hose hooked to it. And you can actually see, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Yeah, you can see clearly, uh, there's the bubbles, you can see clearly the force of the Venturi effect pushing those oxygen bubbles through. And if we give this a little turn, let's see, right here, you should actually be able to see, there you go, our control lines. So those two nozzles there, we can turn that oxygen down. You can see from hearing it, we can turn that oxygen. Let's go back there to look at those bubbles. You can see it's turned all the way down. We can turn the oxygen up. You see that? Now that's the Venturi effect being applied. It's a little fancy by using these nozzles, nozzles but you don't actually need that. Now let's zoom out again. There we go. So, let's lift this up just a little bit. See if we can zoom out a little bit more. There we go. So, um, nice size oxygen bubbles. We can see that, right? Let's turn this back around so we can see that output line. There you go. Nice size oxygen bubbles. But I want you to look at the top of the tank, and I want you to actually look at the size of these bubbles. They're pretty big bubbles, right? Now, here's the beauty to nano bubbles. all right? Your standard size bubble, which would be these. Actually, these are kind of small, but standard size bubbles still. These contain about 15% gas that you're trying to transfer through those bubbles, so maybe 15% oxygen. And in one of these size bubbles, you could fit hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of nano bubbles. And nano bubbles contain 85% oxygen. I know it looks like a lot of turmoil in here. The bubbles are going, and you might be saying to yourself, why would I want to switch this up? Well, when using the Venturi effect and not applying pressure or bringing out the use of the magnet or nano bubbles, you're actually wasting energy in these oxygen bubbles because um, you'd end up having to run this pump a lot longer in order to provide oxygen to the roots. The beauty of the nano bubbles is, is that they last months. They can last for months and weeks and weeks and weeks. So they're still there providing ample oxygen for your plant roots. And nano bubbles contain 85% gas per bubble compared to the 15% in traditional size. So next up, here's what we wanna do. And I'm gonna go ahead and unplug this. Now we see the size of the bubbles in this, right? And we also see, I wanna repeat again, there's no pressurized nozzle connected to that output line on the bottom, the one that the bubbles are coming out of. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to unplug it, all right? We're gonna let that calm. And relative, relatively quickly, you can see the water basically clears up. You can see some larger bubbles still remaining on the um, blue water line. That's because that's just the typical size of those bubbles. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our modified nozzle and we're going to connect this to that outgoing line on the bottom. 
And mind you, this takes that water, it pressurizes it, and it points it directly to that ferrous magnet. Guys have any idea what the effects will be? Well, let's give it a look. We'll do this in real time. Let's take our extension. We're going to plug that right in there. Let's see if we can do it the first time around. We're going to make sure that that nozzle is pointing directly down onto that magnet. Let's turn our oxygen bubbles off. All right. Now let's give this a plug in. Let's see what happens. All right. Okay. Number one, the oxygen's already turned off for the most part, but you can see on the pressure, it's already pushing out bubbles. And those little specks that you see going on, those are bubbles. Those are bubbles. What we're going to do is we're going to increase our oxygen. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now, do you see a difference in between these size bubbles and the ones where it was just the inventory effect without utilizing the magnet and utilizing the pressure and the downward valve? You can already see nano bubbles instead of regular bubbles from the Brownian effect. The Brownian theory part of me teaches us that regular bubbles, they come out and they just float to the top. Nano bubbles, on the other hand, they create a vortex and you can already see the vortex is forming in the water. Also, from having that downward pressure, look at how we're equally dispersing the water or any nutrient solution that we would have in that water around. I'm not sure if you've been watching and watching closely, but if you can, you can already see that this water is clouding up. And it's not clouding up from debris, it's clouding up from oxygen bubbles. Because instead of the oxygen bubbles just coming up to the top and disappearing, like you see these few big ones doing, where before, before we hooked that extension up, there were giant bubbles all over the place. How cool is this science? Now here's the beauty to this. I could run this for about two minutes, have a full size plant sitting in here, run this for about two minutes and then do this. And that's more than enough oxygen for the day. And even though it's turned off, you can still see bubbles, you can still see bubbles going around that tank. Let's give it another little boost. And for those who may wonder the big difference again, we're just going to keep this running for a little bit. All right. There we go. I love this stuff, guys. Hey, plant that first seed and together we grow. I hope you guys enjoyed today's adventure. I know I had an absolute blast, man. I really do love this stuff. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. I love applied science. Hey, guys, until then, you know what I'm saying? Keep on studying. Keep on doing your thing. If you can figure out any other ways to improve the system that you think that you can make it a little bit different, please do so. In the meantime, please share the video. Please subscribe. Check us out on Patreon. I will be giving you full in-depth tips and advice on how to build this entire system. In the meantime, plant that first seed so that together we'll grow. Peace and blessings, my friends.